Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean here, and today I'm going to bring you guys an updated video of my PlayStation 3 game collection that everyone's been asking for such a long time now. And um, first of all, so, some things I want to address is, uh, sorry I didn't bring this to you guys earlier. I said I was going to bring it to you guys in January, but I've just been super busy with things like um, with Final Fantasy 13 2 coming out. I've been playing nothing but just that game, and uh, other and when I didn't have the free time i've been studying for midterms and stuff in school um just a lot of midterms a lot of assignments coming up recently so i really didn't have too much time to just get out of my way to make a video but anyways uh today um i finally had time so here you guys go i'm gonna bring you guys my ps3 game collection that everyone's been asking for ages now so let's start off with the first stack of games i have here and um just a nice little fact i guess uh my game has practically Oh, I mean my game collection has practically doubled in size since my one in January, so it's quite interesting. Anyway, first game we have here is Assassin's Creed Revelations. This game, I got back on release date. I still haven't beaten it just because uh, I haven't really had too much time to play it. And it's a bit disappointing, to be honest, because um, it hasn't been innovative whatsoever since Brotherhood, which is what we have next. Um, same thing. It hasn't. It didn't it, what? It didn't really innovate anything new to the Assassin's Creed series. Um, after two, it was a fun game. Same with Revelations. They were both fun games. It's just that I felt that they didn't really do anything new. Um, to the series, Assassin's Creed Two was one of my favorite Assassin's Creeds just because it was so different from one. That's why I really liked. They added a lot of new things to it. They made a better story out of it. And um, yeah, this was a really fun game when I played at the time. And Brotherhood and Revelations just doesn't really live up to it in my opinion. Next, we have Battlefield 3. This is a really, really fun multiplayer shooter. I really like Battlefield. Um, I've always really liked Battlefield since Battlefield 2 way back in 2005. Um, it's just that it's it's a bit shitty on the PS3 just because there's input lag issues um, and it's not as awesome as it could be on the PC. But it's still a great game, Like especially if you only have a PS3, go pick up Battlefield 3. It's an awesome shooter. And Bad Company 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, was also a really awesome Battlefield game uh, at the time. In fact, actually, this game feels more stable than Battlefield 3 till this day because, in my opinion, with Battlefield 3, they just went overboard with the graphics, the new gameplay, and all that stuff, and they made the game a bit glitchy. Um, it doesn't mean Battlefield 3 is a bad game, but it's just a bit glitchier, and Bad Company 2 just felt, you know, more like a finished final product. Next, we have Borderlands. Um, I just bought this game because it was an easy free platinum. Um, my friends knew about it and they told me about it. So I got this game for like 20 bucks and um, the story is really bad. The ending is really bad, I've said before in the past. But if you guys want a free platinum and you want to play with friends, a good co-op game, Borderlands is your game. Next we have a different looking case. This is Modern Warfare 3. As you can see, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The back steel cover and everything. This came with my hardened edition, of course. You can see back there if you guys haven't watched my boxing. So yeah, Modern Warfare 3, it's a really fun game, and I'm really enjoying the multiplayer. Um, it doesn't really change much from uh, Modern Warfare 2, aside from uh, balancing issues, but it's still a really fun game, and if you're a long-time Call of Duty fan, you might as well get it. Black Ops is the next Call of Duty game I have. Uh, this game was not good, in my opinion. The story was really awesome, but the multiplayer was just so incredibly imbalanced, I never really truly had fun on it like I do with Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, of course. I've just always been a Modern Warfare fanboy, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit biased, but Modern Warfare just feels a lot more smoother, even though Modern Warfare 2 was really unbalanced and a lot of people didn't like that, it still felt incredibly addictive to me, so that's why I really like the game, I clocked in the 28 days when I finished this game. Next we have World War, this is an old game, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but um, it was pretty fun, but now it's plagued by hackers, which kind of sucks, uh, oh well. Same with Call of Duty 4, this game is amazing on a P or computer still, so if you guys have a good computer, you can go play on that, but it's now plagued by hackers too on a PS3. Next we have Crisis 2, this was a really fun game, the graphics look really awesome, but it's one of those really heavy feeling shooters where there's like weight when you move around and all that junk. But um, yeah, this is a really fun game, um, it's just that the multiplayer is really imbalanced and there's nothing to really do after you beat the game, so yeah, it's more of a rental than a buy in my, in my opinion. Next we have Dark Souls, this is a really really fun and hard game, um, I have Demon Souls too, um, but I didn't beat that game, I still haven't beaten this game too, but it just feels like I'm making more progress in this game, and overall, overall I just find this game to be a lot more enjoyable than Demon Souls, so go pick it up if you like a hard and challenging game. Next we have Dead Island, um, I'm sorry but I really cannot recommend this game, I know there's a lot of Dead Island fans out there and I'm sorry I'm offending you, but uh, yeah I really don't like this game, the game just feels broken. 
Um, I know there's been patches, but it just still doesn't feel good. Um, the graphics are bad. The story's bad. The gameplay's bad. There's just nothing fun about it. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's my opinions on it. Dead Space, this was a great game for its time. I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's old. But if you want to play through the Dead Space uh, series with the story and everything, play through it. It's, it's really fun. It's uh, really terrifying, too. Same with Dead Space 2. It's pretty scary, but not as scary as Dead Space 1 just because I played through both of them. And Dead Space 1, like after coming from Dead Space 1, I kind of knew what the type of scares are like in Dead Space. Next, we have Demon Souls. Like I've said earlier, this game is really tough and challenging. I haven't beaten this game. But um, you might as well go with Dark Souls now just because Dark Souls is pretty much better in every way. Next, we have Final Fantasy XIII, still one of my favorite games on the PS3 just because it's so incredibly fun. And I really enjoy the story in this game, and I'll talk about the 13 2 story when I get to it. But yeah, this is still one of my favorite games. I doubt it'll be toppled anytime soon. 13 2 is getting really close, but I don't think it'll topple it. But yeah, if you guys want to play through Final Fantasy XIII and thirteen two, I definitely recommend you go play this game first. You could probably get it for super cheap now on some other stores. Anyway, next we have God of War Collection. I'm not going to talk about this at all. I haven't played this game in like almost two years now. Um, I got it just because it was cheap, like 20 bucks. But uh, I'm not, big, not a big fan of God of War, so yeah, um, I, I just don't really enjoy it that much. I just don't like button mashers that m much. Anyway, now we have the next stack of games. Right on top is the greatest hits version of Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, no DLCs whatsoever on this version of the game. I just got it for cheap, like 20 bucks. Grand Theft Auto 4 is really awesome. It's one of those open world games that I still really like. And if you guys know me, I don't really like open world games that much. So yeah, I really can't wait. I really can't wait for uh, Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. It's going to be awesome. Next, we have Grand Turismo 5. Uh, this was a this is a good shoot or not shooter derp. Uh, this is a good racer. But I'm just not that big of a racer fan, but it's a really fun racing game. The graphics are good. Um, the, the the driving feels good. So if you guys like Gran Turismo 5, go pick it up. I'm pretty sure there's a new version of the game now. Like it's called Spec 2.0 or something, which includes like DLC and updates and patches and stuff that make it apparently a whole new game. So go pick that up. But next we have uh, the Eco and Shadow of the Colossus collection. And I got so much hate and rant on my unboxing video because I pronounced it Ico. Well, okay, I'm pronouncing it equal now, so you guys can calm down. <laughs> but anyway, these games, these two games were great on the PS2. So if you haven't gotten a chance to play it on the PS2, go definitely pick up that collection and play it now on the PS3. Next, we have Just Cause 2. This is one of my like regrets um, for games. I, I didn't really like this game that much. I bought it full price, and I really didn't play much at all. Um, it's just because it feels really B-rated, and I don't like open-world games. But if you like over-the-top action kind of open-world games, um, yeah, Just Cause 2, you'll have fun with it. Next, we have Killzone 3. Uh, this is a really fun shooter. The graphics look great, but the story sucks in this game. It really does suck. I didn't care for any of the characters. I didn't care for the story at all. And the ending was just blatantly horrible. So if you guys play for story, don't, pl don't play this game. It's bad. But the multiplayer is fun. The shooting feels good. And the graphics look great. So, yeah, I recommend it if you like that stuff. Killzone 2 is practically the same thing. The multiplayer is probably dead now, but... um. Killzone 3 feels better multiplayer wise. Killzone 2 gameplay, like single player wise, of wise feels the same. But Killzone 2 had the better story. So overall, this might be a bit better. I don't know. I can't really compare the two. But yeah, if you if you want a story in Killzone, Killzone 2 is the one to go. Now, L.A. Noir is what I have next. Uh, the more I thought about this game after I beat it, the more I thought of how repetitive the game actually was. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but the game is incredibly repetitive. I really liked my time with it, I enjoyed it a lot when I played through it, but it's actually really, really repetitive, and the ending was kind of just stuck up there, and it's kind of bad, so yeah, um, story-wise, it's not that great, but again, this is one of those games that are really, really different in terms of gameplay, so if you want something different, a detective kind of story, L.A. Noir is what you should get. Mag, um, really awesome shooter, multiplayer is dead, so therefore the game is dead, um, this game is really fun. It's a shame that the multiplayer is dead, but um, yeah, I guess if you could get it for cheap, you can still get into games where there are a lot of people, but it just doesn't feel like a full-fledged 256-player game anymore. Next, we have Metal Honor. Uh, I just bought this because um, I, I don't know, I kind of like dice games, and it was more like a filler for Battlefield 3. It, it was a fun COD and cross Battlefield kind of shooter, but um, you know, it's I, I won't recommend it now. Next, we have the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Uh, I never got the chance to play the Metal Gear Solids back on the PS2, so I'm really enjoying this collection. I really liked um, playing through Metal Gear Solid 3. I already beat Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm going through Metal Gear Solid 2 right now, and it's just a really fun game overall. Um, 
really good collection. If you got, if you guys want to play Metal Gear Solid, but never got the chance to on PS2, definitely recommend this collection. Next, we have Metal Gear Solid 4. Same thing. This is one of the best games I played on the PS3. Great graphics, great story, great gameplay, great characters, great everything. This is a really good Metal Gear Solid. and totally deserved the tens it got back in the day, and I definitely recommend it if you could buy the game still. Next, we have Portal 2. Uh, this was a really fun co-op game, um, although there was just nothing to do after I Platinum it, and there really hasn't been any good DLCs that came out. But if you haven't played Portal or Portal 2, definitely worth, worth a buy to play through with your friend. It's a really fun puzzle game. Next, we have Resident Evil 5. Uh, this game was a really fun co-op game. It was uh, my first Platinum Trophy, um, but... Resident Evil 6 is going to blow this out of the water in every way. This game wasn't scary at all. It felt more action-oriented than anything, which kind of disappointed me because I've been a long-time Resident Evil fan, but, you know, whatever. I'm waiting for Resident Evil 6. Next, we have Resistance 3. This is a um, really fun game of the Resistance games. Um, it's just that it left me without anything. The multiplayer didn't do anything. And after I beat the story, I really didn't feel like playing through it again. So, yeah, uh, this game just kind of sat there ever since I beat it. Next, we have Shadows of the Damned. I really wanted this game when it first came out, but um, I saw the reviews and I kind of backed off from it. Then eventually, my friend just practically gave it to me because he's like, yeah, I don't play this game. I rarely play PS3, so take it for as long as you want and return it when you want to. And um, I still haven't returned it. He have not asked for it. I've, re I've even asked him if he wants it back, and he's like, yeah, whatever, just give it back uh, when whenever you want. But um, yeah, it's not that great of a game. If you could get it for like 10 bucks in the bargain bin, then you should get it. SOCOM 4, uh, I got this game just because I've been a long time SOCOM fan, the multiplayer is pretty fun in this game, but in my opinion they just made it a bit too mainstream, they made it feel like a Call of Duty, um, it doesn't really feel too tactical anymore, but uh, the gameplay still feels very much like SOCOM uh, in single player and multiplayer, it's just that the multiplayer version feels a bit too fast and a bit way less tactical than it used to be anymore, but still fun SOCOM overall. Next, we have Uncharted 2, the, my favorite Uncharted. Uh, totally deserved Game of the Year back in 2009. This game is just great in everything. The graphics were awesome. The gameplay were awesome. The set pieces were awesome. The, uh, the storytelling was awesome. The characters were awesome. Really awesome game. And if you haven't played Uncharted 2 yet, I definitely go recommend and you, you go pick it up with the dual pack that you could get along with the first one. Um, the first one was also fun, but it just felt more like a standard... Uh, Adventure game like Naughty Dog was still trying to try out the formula, so um, it was still fun, but it just ha didn't have any of the shocking value that uh, Uncharted 2 had. It's still a fun game if you want to play through it. Finally, we have Uncharted 3. Uh, this game was, you know, fun, but overall it was just pretty disappointing just because um, it, what's it called, it... It felt like Uncharted 2, like I've already seen everything that this game had to offer, so um, it still is a really fun game, the storytelling was awesome and everything, but um, it's just uh, a bit a bit of a letdown compared to Uncharted 2. Anyway, so those are my two stacks of games, and now we'll finish off by going through my special looking boxes games, and then we'll be done. Alright, so first of all, here we have Deus Ex. Human Revolution. I got the augmented edition. I really liked Deus Ex back in the day, and this was a really fun game. But um, this game kind of left me without anything because once I beat it, I had nothing else to do. So if anything, this game is more of a rental than a purchase. But it's still a really fun game to play through. If you guys, if you guys couldn't buy it for cheap or rent it, definitely go try it out. Next, of course, we gotta have Skyrim, right? You already saw the dragon in the back, back so it's kind of obvious. Skyrim, this is a re really, really awesome RPG. It's really open world, and you can really do anything you kind of want. But again, it's one of those open world games where there's just so much to do, I don't even know where to start. So um, it's an awesome game, but I really haven't played it too much just because I don't really have the time to walk around the world to find shit to do nowadays. It's, it's an awesome game, and if you want a good Western RPG, Skyrim, no doubt. You guys probably already have it. Next, we have the Resistance Dual Pack. One and two were good, but of course they don't stand at all against three anymore it's a fun game but uh it's it, it can't really stand on its own anymore um if you can get it for cheap you can get the dual pack and get two games for cheap for like 30 bucks so it was a good deal finally we'll finish off with final fantasy 13 2 uh, my latest purchase this game was really fun this gameplay is awesome there's a lot more to do in the game i just beat it last night actually the story was really awesome, but I was really, really, really disappointed at the ending. So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but the story was awesome up till the ending. So, yeah, story was pretty good. Gameplay is awesome. It just feels really fast and a lot of things to do, and it's not linear anymore. There's a lot more side quests and all that junk to do. 
But yeah, that'll be it for now for my PlayStation 3 game collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Please, um, yeah, do whatever I said. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.